Hello everyone, my name is Shreyas Damle. This is a summary of my final project, Network Anomaly Detection and Pickup Analysis. Today I will give you a brief overview and we will go through various stuff. On a high level, uh, what is anomaly detection? It is a process of monitoring of a network traffic for unusual or suspicious behavior. It provides additional security to traditional security applications like firewalls, IDS, etc. Now it has two detection approaches. Like there are mainly two types, event based and signature based. In this application, we are using event-based approach for analyzing abnormal network traffic. Application first defines non-malicious traffic and extracts it from PCAP file. To achieve this, TCP sessions are analyzed based on standard protocols and statistical model. After creating a knowledge-based, rest of traffic is categorized as suspicious traffic. The application on the from the broad perspective application is also helpful in, in automating the analysis of PCAP files containing malware or exploit kits. The application takes PCAP file as an input and checks for anomalies to detect uh, for example port scanning activities. Uh, Let's take an example of SynScan. The script or application detects for the set of IP addresses where it sent at least three times more SYN packets than the number of SYNAC packets they received. So based on this theory, it can detect SYN attacks. Similarly, it, it can detect XMASCAN or FINSCAN the script also detects ICMP covert channel communication by looking into payload field of the ICMP. So for anomaly detection currently script consists of the output of script consists of false positives but it can be improved using statistical models. Apart from anomaly detection, the script can also be used for extracting public IPs from the PCAP and then it checks if it contains any blacklisted IP uh, by checking against blacklisted IP database. Further, script extra extracts URLs from packet capture and uses virus total API to check if it contains any malicious domain. Additionally, uh, using foremost, uh, the application extracts files from the PCAP, then generates SHA-256 checksum, and then uses this hash with virus total API to check if file is malicious or not. Finally, the output of the script contains report.txt, a text report which contains analysis, anomalies, and statistics of the PCAP file. It also generates an output directory which contains files which we have extracted using Foremost. So, here are a couple of screenshots of the results result.txt. Future improvements could be we can utilize more statistical algorithms to tune our anomaly detection engine and also uh, we can leverage machine learning algorithms to obtain results 
which are more adaptive to changes in the network. Now let's look at the demo of the script. The script takes pcap file as an input and currently it doesn't support live monitoring but in future we can also introduce live monitoring of the packets. So currently I'm giving SynScan uh, pcap file to check whether script detects this attack or not. So as it says, the results are stored in the report.txt. So let's go and see report.txt. So this is the report for Cynatac PCAP which we have just executed. So currently this PCAP doesn't contain any files so here we are not getting any files. We can see port statistics then IOC statistics. Uh, which are developed using T-Shark similarly IP for conver conversations then this is the actual output we can see the lots of SYN packets but the, the, there is no SYNAC reply for these IP addresses so scripts possibly detects it as a SYN scan and also it extracts public IP list and URLs. Now let's try some different PCAP file. So I have one more file for xmascan. Look at the output. Here it is. So basically, Xmas can contains fin, push, and urgent packets. So the script correctly detects it as a Xmas can. The sample I've uh, downloaded from the internet and it correctly analyzes this port scanning technique. Now let's analyze a PCAP which contains EK traffic. So EK stands for exploit, exploit kit. So Let's analyze this traffic using this script. Now here it will take time because so we are generating URLs from the TCP connections and extracting files using foremost and then we are uh, calling virus total api to check whether the files are malicious or not now when we call virus total api it allows only four calls per 60 seconds so like after getting response for four requests, we have to wait for uh, 60 seconds to um, get the output 
uh, from the next URLs or from the next files. But we can still go and see the report. So this was the input pcap file which contains ek traffic it has correctly extracted the exe file in the pcap and generates sha256 hash so like this i was talking about the false positives now it checks the url list and calls the virus total api and says uh, like this is a malicious url so i have the sample output of this file that i can show see it also detects the malicious file so it correctly analyzed that this AXC was malicious using virus.lapi so as you can see this script is very useful in analyzing malware traffic or exploit kit traffic now we can go through the code so for packet parsing we are using dpkt dpkt library so first using dpkt we extract the information from the packets then this is the code sample for ICMP payload detection so basically it just looks for payload field in the ICMP protocol now, now this is the logic for port scanning activity this piece of code gets all URLs from the pcap file and to get the public IPs from the pcap file we'll, we are using net addr library using t shark we are generating statistics and ip conversations and using foremost we are extracting jpeg pdf png exe and doc files from the pcap and then we are generating hash of each file and then passing it to the virus total api now this function generates the result of all these activities first it generates statistics then it looks it uh, generates output of the scanning port scanning anomalies and this last two part of the code detects url and files using virus total api to check malicious url or malicious file so that's it as i said in future we can utilize more statistical models and machine learning algorithms to 
improve the script. Thank you.